main face. Ho! What was that? I don't know. Why did you do that? Because I felt like it. Why would you do that here? On this stream right now. I can. I can't believe you would do that live on public you television. Can't? I cannot believe. On public television. I cannot believe that you would just come in here and say hi to everybody. Like. You can't? Like that's the most normal thing in the world. You stop. Can't? Hey, stop gaslighting me. Stop gaslighting Stop you. gaslighting me. That's everybody's me. favorite word, isn't it? <laughs> It's everybody's favorite word. <laughs> Happy Friday, everybody. <laughs> um, yeah, we've. <laughs> this is this is the part where everybody watching the replay is like, oh, these weirdos, we're out of here. No, um, that's that's when I start playing the music that I haven't figured out yet. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna. She All can't right. stop me. All <laughs> right. Well, you keep. You. Keep it can just be our running theme where I screw up the beginning of every single live stream that we do. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Yeah. Happy Happy Friday, guys. Last week, um, we were experimenting with having music at an almost inaudible volume during our streams. Um, the first week we tested it, there was some weird like Ga like like geisha. Yeah. We can't remember what it was. But. It was it was strange. Um, and then last week there was like some weird like funky beat that was playing like and i didn't have them i didn't have the mic turned up i don't care if you don't need the music i need the music <laughs> he's he's he is determined to make this work let let him do his thing you guys are probably not even going to hear it because he wants it so low stop talking for a second he's on a mission all right it's not playing out the main um so i've got a couple announcements before we get started today and then we're going to be looking at amazing Etsy shops, beautiful Etsy shops that I think follow all of my critiques. Now, we've had a lot of confusion about this. We had a post in the Handmade Alpha Academy student campus. A lot of my students thought it was a critique session. So if you're a student, it's not a critique. We're not critiquing anything. We're picking people who I would not have the ability to critique because the shops are so perfect. Yes. Um, we had a lot of you submit. I selected probably more than we're even going to be able to get through, and I didn't even select half of you guys. Um, and I wish I could have because we, we really had to, like, be selective because there were so many amazing submissions. Um, one thing that I will say is that we tried to not select as many shops as we've, like, a lot of you have been featured a lot on the channel. Um so we did try to pick some shops that we've never featured before. There are a couple that we picked that we've featured several times in the past, but it's just because I think that they present such a fantastic example, um, especially around the holiday times where they have incorporated small seasonal elements into their shop that um, I think that everybody could learn from. So that's what we're covering today. However, I do have three quick announcements before we get started. The first announcement is obviously that my coaching program is open right now until December 1st. That is not the frame of when the program is taking place. The mm -mm. program is lifetime access and it is self-paced. You, do, you don't even have to start until after the holidays if you don't want to, um, because I know that a lot of you want to enjoy your December. Not that our course isn't enjoyable, but you want to spend it with family and go out. And exactly. Exactly. Have, have fun with your your kids. Um, <clears throat> so that's the most annoying sound in the world, Toots Boots. She's scratching. Um, I can't even focus now. Handmade Health Academy is open right now until December 10th. Uh -huh. Um, and we have some amazing bonuses this year. You're getting obviously 12 months of E-Rank Pro. I provide that to all of my students. Christina Nicole, the photography coach who I have keep talking about, she's absolutely amazing. And she is giving away with your enrollment one of her courses that normally costs $120. It is her uh, product photography essentials workshop. And you get a 100% discount code to that program when you enroll in the Handmade Alpha Academy. All current students, you guys can get it in the bonuses vault. Um, you don't even have to email me anymore. Uh, it used to be that you had to email me to get it, but now it is Holy just- Holy crap. It thank is, you. Oh, awesome. Oh, thank you so much. Uh, You're wonderful. Thank we have, you very much. We have our, do our um, charity right now for St. Jude running, so consider donating to that. We appreciate it. <clears throat> um, but- the there are so many amazing bonuses this season. You also get uh, 
access to the Alpha Holiday Boot Camp mm -hmm. that we ran in September. Now, obviously, a lot of it, the holidays are over. But if you want to go in and actually see that, you'll be able to. And you will get a free ticket to every Alpha Holiday Boot Camp that we hold in the future. So you get like forever access to those for free. Um, it, it, it's so much more than what it's ever been. We're such good people. We're such, We're good, such people. good people. We're such good people. No, it, it's so much more than it's ever been before. So if you're interested in checking it out, we will uh, talk about it a little bit more towards the end of today's session. Uh, and we are happy to answer questions. If you're interested in enrolling, we would much rather um, talk face to face with you and be able to speak directly to you with your questions. That's ra right. Rather than, <clears throat> I, I, I'm fine answering emails, but I, I think that there's something valuable about being able to see my face when I talk to you. I don't, I don't mm -hmm. know. Um, so you guys can ask questions about the program, especially since it's only open for that small window. Next big important things that you guys need to know are that the Pantone color of the year was just announced yes, last it was. night. It Viva is. Magenta. Viva Magenta. It's kind of an off pink. Yeah, it's it it's not <clears throat> when you think of magenta, it's not quite the color. Pick up your your uh cough drops there. Recolor. Yeah, yeah. So this It's kind of this, like not not quite. No, the it's pink. your controller. Mm. It's more red. On camera, this will just look red. Yeah, it's... Yeah, I'll just pull it up. Yeah, okay. I'll just pull it up. So, color of the year, Pantone color of the year, is the color that we're going to start seeing in a lot of different places in home decor. Uh, we're going to start seeing people paint their walls in this color. Um, we tend to see it a lot in stationery. Prom dresses are big on the color of the year. There we go. Let me... Uh, uh, nothing in the bottom there. Ooh, good call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mr. Morp, some personally identifiable information. Some in personally identifiable Starla booty pics. There's no Starla booty pics I in there. I bet there's a Starla booty There's no Starla booty pics. I put, I How about put... Time Magazine? There you go. Ooh, it's nice and big. You got it? Yep, screen share should be sharing right now. I can click. Yep, screen okay. sharing. There we go. Pantone color of the year, everybody. See, Viva Magenta. That is the exact color of your controller. Displayed on a Tool music video. It does look like a Tool music video, doesn't it? Shout out to my Tool fans. Um, Hope so, your new balances aren't too fresh. So hopefully you guys are able to incorporate this color <laughs> into your um, your products. I, I like it, personally. I, we've had some good colors of the year. We've had some bad ones. But you're going to start seeing this color everywhere. So if you can incorporate it into your products, that's great. If not, no biggie. Um, but it's just something to think about. I, I'm always excited to hear the color of the year. Yeah, I actually really like this. This is one of my favorite colors. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty excited. It's almost like a, like when roses start to be done for the year, when they kind of fade off of that red and kind of turn that purpley pink. Yeah, yeah. Like the, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like a real deep color. Um, And, and then there's... One more announcement. Next week, every single day from, let's see, the 5th through the 8th, we are going to be here live, exact same time, noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. if you're in the UK. We're going to be doing random shop critiques from the chat. Don't email me your shop. Don't, don't beg and plead and tell me your life story because we love you, but mm -hmm. we, we got to keep it fair. Um... We are going to be choosing random shops every day from the chat, a couple a day, and we are going to be doing free <laughs> shop critiques here on YouTube. And this is, this is all for St. Jude. Uh, we hope that you will consider donating to our charity this season. Um, we're now up to $545 for St. Jude. Thanks to that last donation. Goodness me. Can anybody beat that $100? Yes, we appreciate it so much. All of our live streams until the end of the year are going to be for St. Jude for the holidays. So consider uh, donating. And um, even if it's only, you know, $5, that's less than a coffee at Starbucks. And it makes a big impact, as you guys can see. We've already raised in quite a chunk. Can I beg and plead for you not to do mine? I don't I don't think we're doing yours. I don't think that you're in our you didn't submit, did you? Yeah, for, I don't think you submitted. I'm not I don't think so. I don't know. But get, TLDR for those of you who are just because we just had like 50 people join. Handmade off Academy's open. Uh and yeah, that's it. <laughs> oh the, and guys, I bought a, a smaller uh URL. You guys can go to joinhaa.com and it'll take you right uh, not H M A. Do not do H M A. 
That is the oh, what, what was it? What was it? Join H A A handmade. Unless you would like to join the Husband Material Academy to help you with your porn addiction. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Oh. Because I was looking at buying joinhma.com as well, and I saw this. So unless you have an addiction to adult films, please go to joinhaa.com, <laughs> or you can go to handmadealphaacademy.com and sign up there as well. After the stream, she has to record a video, but immediately following that, we will be going live on Twitch. We're going to be finishing up Resident Evil 3, and then we are going to be streaming a really scary game, The Callisto Protocol, uh, if we can get it to function. So, yeah, join us there. All right, let's do All this. More information on that at the end of the stream. Yeah, yeah. All right, we're ready. Let's screen share. Let's... The cat is already under my desk. Well, just pull up my Trello so I can um, <clears throat> so I can see what we're doing here. We'll do that last. There we go. Okay, that's good. Okay. Pop them open. I'm going to pull this over here so they can't see them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right, he's configuring. I'm configuring. Are you guys having I'm a good? Uh, out. Are you guys having a good week? Are you having a good Friday? Are you enjoying um, your your beginning of December? Hopefully, you guys oh. are you know getting your holiday decorations up if you celebrate. Wait, wait, wait. What's your Twitch? I'll type it in the chat right now. It uh, is twitch.tv slash professor prosciutto or PP for short. <laughs> trying to summon bubbers we will attempt to get him yeah go follow me over on twitch if you want to watch after the stream anyway yeah, uh, yeah. are we good for screen share i'm gonna yeah. take him upstairs yeah screen I... do it there we go we're on we're, we're live we're on the internet most famous people on youtube go all right come here. Come here. Come okay got, got him got okay him. all right Barbie's shop, right when we clicked on it, we knew that we were going to have to feature her. Barbie, I don't know if I've looked at your shop in the past, but the first thing that I noticed is her very cohesive branding. Now, one thing that I want to point out today as we get into this, and, and, if, and if anybody joins us late, for those of you who are in the chat, maybe reiterate it to anybody who asks, we are not basing our uh, session today on number of sales. Sales... No, we have a like kind of a scale of everything, every level. In fact, we tried to balance it between number of sales, uh, time on the platform, but you have to consider that a lot of these people, these are all Handmade Alpha Academy students, and a lot of them are at different stages of their journey. So we're going based on application of the lessons that we teach and how well we think that they've been able to apply those lessons. So consider that a lot of them are just starting out, even if their shops are years old, maybe they opened their shop and then, you know, didn't sell for a while and then started selling you know, just this year or something like that. So Everybody needs to be super duper polite. Uh, all of these shops are beautiful. Be the, nice is what we're saying. Exactly. So I immediately <laughs> fell in love with Barbie's branding colors. And one of my favorite things that Barbie did uh, is she cut herself out and made sure that the pink in the background of her profile photo matched her branding colors. Um, it's very, very cohesive. She's got, I wonder why her shop announcements expanded out. But I do love that she has everything uh, divided out with cute little emojis. So it's it makes it easier to kind of, you know, see things. I love how her stolen or missing items. She has little pirate flags. Super cute. She has adorable product photos. If we use the hover over feature, you'll be able to watch her listing videos. Makes it very, very engaging. I love it. She does such a fantastic job and her photos aren't overly edited. You'll notice that it appears that she hangs up her um, different like wall hangings up on a brick wall. I think the discord link is broken. Oh, well. I'll get you a new one here in a couple of minutes. She's got her about section Good filled thing. out. That is so cute. I love it. Her whole shop is filled out. Her backgrounds on her critter photos are all in her branding colors. So cute. <laughs> so um, Barbie, well done. I think that your shop is absolutely adorable. I love your branding colors. I, I think that it all ties together. All of your products are also very colorful. So they almost fit your brand scheme as well. But yeah, th this is a perfect example of really fun, but cohesive branding. So um, all right, what we're going to do here because he's gonna he's gonna start causing trouble now that I've done that. I'm gonna pull the other one and just bring it over here. I wasn't gonna. 
Oh no, we don't want that yet. You're gonna show them. I don't the care. Shops. It's gonna ruin the surprise. I don't care. There isn't a surprise. It's a surprise. Mindy, we've seen Mindy before. Um, no, don't you yell at me. <laughs> oh, God, the cat's mad. Um, Mindy, we did her shop during one of our live photo editing sessions. Uh, we were kind of, um, her photos were already good, but we, we brightened up uh, one of her photos on a live stream not too long ago. But I absolutely love how she's incorporated in. She has lavender in her logo. And if you look at these photos, they all have that lavender as well. It's a very cohesive color palette. And something that is very subtle, but that my eyes immediately noticed, were that, for one, her photo is cut out and she has that lavender background. But for two, the lavender of her star seller, like little things, are perfect. almost the exact same color. So I love it. Fantastic job. Um, she has beautiful photos. They aren't overly edited. Um, you can tell that the props actually exist within the photos. Um, she has fantastic product photos. They're very, very cute. And then if we pop open one of her listings, she has all of her listing photos filled out. I love how she goes into the details mm -hmm. about her products. Um, and she has her, her listing videos as well. Very, very cute. What happened to that cat tower? The one that we're getting? I ordered one, and it will be a while because it's coming from Germany. Oh, yeah. He he ordered a really nice one. Yeah. And then she also has a photo down here of her, um, of her workspace and a video of herself creating her product. So fantastic job, Mindy. Your, your shop looks really, really nice. Um, I, I wish that I even could, I, no, I don't. I was going to say, I wish I could give you some critiques, but the point of the stream is that everybody is so good. I, I don't have any critiques. Um, yeah, let's. Speaking of, speaking of, uh cat towers just fyi if you try to buy a cat tower on etsy there are almost no handmade cat towers so open field there the majority of them are companies that also sell on like corporate websites they're all big companies that yeah. sell on etsy drives me nuts anyway rant over my favorite uh do, handmade do. cat towers are hollywood kitty co if you look them up their products are so expensive because they're all custom but look them up on instagram yeah they're really, they're really pretty but i wasn't about to pay 1500 dollars no. for a cat tower Ho hollywood kitty co maybe maybe if we get 500 signups for ha yeah. i'll buy i'll buy a 1500 hundred dollar cat tower <laughs> Um, Lori's Laboratory, we feature almost every time we do a critique session. And the reason that I feature Lori so much is because she is the perfect example of a handmade Alpha Academy all-star. She was our Alpha of the Year a couple years ago. She, everything about her shop is cohesive and branded, and it all fits her ideal target customer. One um, moment. This is live. We oh, yeah. Can't, we can't do subtitles on a live video. Yeah, there's no way to subtitle a live video. Sorry. Um, uh, one thing that I really love about Lori is that she's able to make her product or her um, her branding holiday themed without creating, you know, a bunch of things that conflict with her brand. One of the things that Mark and I noticed when we were trying to select shops for this is that a couple of you, and we're not going to name any names, but a couple of you... Um, you incorporated in holiday elements into your branding, but they really conflicted with your overall mm -hmm. branding colors and cohesion. They, they kind of um, stuck out like a sore thumb. And what Lori's done here is added in some very subtle snowflakes and kind of has them faded out, but they very, very clearly tie in. Yeah, you tie, tie it in instead of making it stand out as its own independent thing. Absolutely. And she has such clear, clear photos. I've always loved your shop. Yeah. I don't know if you're here today, Lori, but I've always loved your shop. Yeah, Lori. Lori is fantastic. Um, Lori is another one of our Handmade Alpha Academy students who um, a couple years ago, she was able to quit her day job and she now creates her products full time. So I absolutely love everything she does. She's also another fantastic example of a shop that incorporates in light backgrounds, but is still able to add some personality to them. Um, she, she creates, you know, kind of witchy themed products and she has her plants and her, her wooden backdrop, um, looks really, really nice. 
So we'll scroll down. She also is good about doing her shop updates, which look really, really nice. And then she has her about section filled out. Don't forget, guys, your about section and overall shop completion play into your search ranking. Etsy tells us that overall shop completion is important. So it is. Um, you guys already know that we love Lori. She she does so fantastic, but we had to call her out today because I just wanted you guys to see how she's incorporated in that beautiful, um, you know, holiday elements without overshadowing the overall purpose of her brand. So, okay. Back to face. We had somebody asking if we critique shops that are kind of new. When we critique shops, we are not critiquing shops right now. Right now, we are just looking at shops that are good examples of Etsy shops at different levels starting next week on Tuesday, right? No, Monday, the 5th Excuse through me, the 8th. The 5th through the 8th. Next week, for about 30 minutes per day, we will be critiquing two, three, four shops, depending on how long it takes through, to go through. What we normally do is have people comment them in our chat, and we will literally pick them at random. We don't yep. pick them based on any kind of particular thing. We don't play favorites or anything like that. We pick them. I, I literally look away, scroll up and down with my mouse, click and drag, and the first one it lands on is the one I do. Yep. So that is how that is how you get your shop critiqued. Yes. On to the next one. Yeah. I am in a good mood today. Do you he know is. that? He, he was so proud. He did his mustache and he got his hair cut. And he, don't do that. He always does that to me. He did his mustache and got his hair cut and he's feeling feeling fly. Oh, she's going to be so mm -hmm. happy. She's going to be so happy. This one is a, is a bit newer. Elizabeth. 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 You don't have to go out and talk so loud into the mic. I know some of you really hate it when I do the ASMR stuff. So with this, we're going to finish the stream. Elizabeth, no. Okay. Okay, you're good. Okay. Elizabeth, um, she. I know that she was nervous. Elizabeth, didn't you say that you were feeling sick to your stomach about us potentially um, showing your shop? Elizabeth, she joined in. <clears throat> Elizabeth, you, you're, you're newer. You joined in the last year, right? You're, 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 you've. You haven't been around as long as uh, like Lori, for example, but you have grown so, so much um, since you joined HAA. Oh, it's wonderful. Your your banner looks so good. You you are another example of a shop who has added in those holiday elements and your holiday shipping cutoff dates and your email list link and your slogan and one product sold equals one tree planted and your social media call outs and your face to help build those those trust factors without making your banner look too crowded. You're going to be exhausted if you end up going viral. Girl, your shop is beautiful. <laughs> I know I know that you're you're, you know, kind of getting into the swing of things. Um, but you you've really got something going on here. Um, I I love how your shop has turned out um, over the last few months. You you have done awesome, and I'm sure everybody can agree that you've you've done awesome. Mm -hmm. I love your your profile picture. Once again, you've also cut out your background and and added in that um, that nice yellow that you use in your branding colors. Um, and she does. It, it's it's funny. She does a similar product to the last shop that we did. But hers are um, covered in like, is it, it, it almost looks like a, like a paracord type material. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to tell from zoomed out. I think she does. It's, I think it's crochet, isn't it? I can't tell, but they're so <clears throat> cute. They're so cute. And I love how you've incorporated your branding colors in to display how many color options there are. They they are so cute. You've done such a great job. Um, I, I love your products. I think that they're adorable. And you've also got, I was looking at your listing videos. They're very they're so cute. Yeah, they're very eye-catching. Super duper cute. We'll scroll down. Do, do, do. You've got some shop updates. They're a little bit older, but that's okay. You know, most people, most people uh aren't seeing the shop updates on their like Etsy home feed anymore. We used to see them, but we don't really see them anymore. I recommend using your shop updates just to get some additional cool photos of your product on your actual shop storefront. You've got your about section filled out. Photos of your face to make sure that you're building those trust elements. Super duper cute ideas on how your products could be used in a room. 
Very, very cute. But overall, in terms of branding, cohesion, crispness, your banner is very crisp um, and clear. There's no blur at all. I, I, I love your shop. I love your branding. And I think that you're really, really on the right track. All right. I love all her posts. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. All right. Bacon. About wall Let's art. Do it. I wonder if you sell wall art. <laughs> Once again. I doubt it. We're seeing very subtle. But we're seeing those branding colors. We're seeing them in the logo. We're seeing them in the banner with the star. We're seeing them <clears throat> in the berries on these uh, holiday pieces of wall art. And we're seeing them in your profile photo. In this background, it almost looks like a like a forest with like a little sunset or maybe maybe not, but that's what I'm seeing. I'm gonna turn the brightness back up to normal so you can actually see what things look like while we're on here. Are, is it affected to them too? No. Oh. It affects our ability to see what things look like, though. Oh, okay. I just turn it off because it makes us look like pale zombies when we're... That's okay. Um, Very, very cute. And, and this, I'm assuming that you're using mock-ups um, since these are very similar, but these mock-ups are fantastic. They, um, look real, they look really nice. Yeah, they're they're <clears> great. <throat> I'm assuming that this is, that this is um, your artwork. These are absolutely beautiful. I love how you've paired some of the colors with these beautiful mock-ups, the blue and the blue. There's some brown elements that tie into the brown. Um, in terms of like wall art and being able to incorporate in realistic mock-ups that can give customers a good idea of what these products might look like in their own home, I think that you have absolutely nailed it. And and you can see it in your customer photos that they've left. That that is a awesome. nice bathroom. That is a nice bathroom. I like that. It's a little color. small, but I like that color. You're critiquing the bathroom. I am critiquing the bathroom. Oh, oh. I want a bathtub like that. <laughs> Stop using your tablet in the bathtub. <laughs> you're you're the you're the reason cell phone company insurance plans exist. Oh but. no! <clears throat> Absolutely beautiful though. Um, I, I had to feature your shop because I I just thought that your branding was so nice. It and is. It's it, very crisp, very clean. Even looking at it on a four normally on a four K monitor because most people don't use four K. It's a little it's a little pixelated, but I don't I don't get any of that. Awesome. All right, we can we can move on to the next one. No, we can't. Amber Marie, we didn't pick your shop this time. I think this is the first one that we haven't done your shop because I feel like we feature Amber Marie too. Much. I don't want people to think we're Amber is one of our friends, but I don't want people to think that we're favoring one person over another. We do though. She's my she's my wife. Amber is mm. we've decided that if our husbands both uh die in fiery car crashes at the same time. Um, Amber and I are going to start a beautiful life together. And I have told her that that's fine even while I'm still alive, as long as I can watch. <laughs> You're Here awful. Go. You're a bad person. <clears throat> In oh. my Spider-Man costume. <laughs> All right, so we have... You're so weird. I am weird. We have actually... <laughs> don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't, don't what? Don't do it. Don't do what? I know what you're thinking. Don't do it. I don't... I don't even know what I'm... What am I thinking? <laughs> Whose shop are we going over right now? Gilligan. <laughs> don't do it. Gilligan's White House Diggles. That's what he said this morning, and I Get laughed. Get off of the search bar before you show them something inappropriate. There's nothing in there. Um, <laughs> we, we called her Gilligan one time, and now, as a joke, and now it's just an ongoing joke. We love you. Um, we have featured this shop before or you might recognize the branding however it's not the same shop because she has two shops she has a physical product shop and a digital shop and i don't think that we featured the digital shop and and, and i know that we have a lot of you who are like oh I th i'm thinking about joining handmade alpha academy but i sell svgs or digital and i don't know if it's for me that's why we thought okay this might be a fun opportunity to show you guys a successful digital seller because she has 3160 sales and when did you start this shop 2020, 2021, good lord, girl. 2021. <clears throat> that is amazing. It. Those results are fantastic. So she sells the digital files um, to for, you know, crafters to be able to create their own ornaments and things. Um, they're, and, and laser cutting. <clears throat> 
I think that these are fantastic. And I love that she has it clear right on here that they're receiving the, the digital file. <laughs> and to be perfectly honest, $5 for an SVG, in terms of, you know, standard SVG prices, you usually see them priced a lot lower than that. So she's making a decent amount of money per sale for what she's selling mm -hmm. uh, in, in her industry with so many sales. So this is fantastic. I'm assuming that you probably have a lot of repeat buyers who come back to shop again and again. Your photos are absolutely beautiful. It's very clear that you're buying digital, uh, you know, that as a customer, you're buying digital files so that you can create. So she started it when her laser was down. That's so awesome. That is like we call that a contingency plan, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we always talk about in Handmade Alpha Academy, plan, adapt, evolve. You need to plan for changes and and emergencies to happen. You need to be able to adapt quickly to those changes because through adaptation you evolve and become a better business owner. Plan, adapt, evolve. And that is a an amazing example where she wasn't able to do her normal business and she adapted and started a digital shop. And clearly it took off because those are amazing numbers for only being open for a year. That is absolutely awesome. So congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Your branding is beautiful. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm curious to see how you do in in the next year i, I want to know so keep us updated but absolutely beautiful somebody um, asked me what <clears throat> what monitor i use i will share it mm. it'll only take me a second we've got lots more shops to get G32. through though so that's okay we are not in any kind of hurry <clears throat> i will post the model number in the chat and then we will get right back Did to it and somebody asked if it is color accurate this particular monitor is 100 percent adobe rgb accurate it is a 32-inch 4K. Anyway, back to the Great shops. Great for photo editing. Great for photo editing. Terrible for your wallet. <laughs> it is probably the most expensive. It is the best monitor on the market right now. There, There is no doubt. Splurge by. All, All right, right, let's, do, let's do this thing. Don't ever be in a car with Amber's husband alone. Otherwise, the brakes might not work. That's fine. I've had a good run. <laughs> <clears throat> they deserve to be happy. Shut up. <laughs> Samantha, we have met Samantha at um, Bitchcraft Fair in 2018, I believe. Um, and she gave us some of her wax melts and they were absolutely wonderful. But what is even more wonderful is how beautiful her branding is, how cohesive it looks. She does very magical fantasy themed um wax melts and smelly goods. And one of my favorite things is that, you know, when you think of like fantasy themed like wax melts for example my, my color palette i'm like imagining like purple and and you know anytime i see a shop like that the branding is always like stars and and purple and you know kind of witchy purple and but i really like that she went a different direction with it she went a direction that i haven't really seen before where everything is very green um with her branding and i i just think it looks very very nice you know it, it makes her unique and it makes her stand out that it do um i love her product photos she has you know because you can't really picture what something smells like without a visual example so one of my favorite things that she does is she makes sure that the sticker with the photo of what it's going to smell like is like front and center she's she's taking it nice and close up which normally i don't recommend for a lot of products i, I recommend having a little bit of space around the product but for hers you almost need to be able to see this yummy eggnog up here in the corner and um this you know m the mocha and candy canes and the champagne Excuse me. You okay? <laughs> yeah, I'm drinking a little... And the champagne. <laughs> and the champagne. I'm drinking a LaCroix. You got a little bougie, didn't you? It, apparently, LaCroix isn't what you should drink before you... Anything fizzy isn't what you should drink before you stream. I'm trying... We're trying to get off the caffeine, okay? Um, get off the caffeine. Get off the caffeine. I said that like it's a where, trick. Where are my caffeine addicts at? <laughs> Post a wolf in the chat. <laughs> Um, but overall, I love her shop. Another another thing that I noticed about her is, once again, her photos aren't like overly edited. Um, I love that she's incorporated in these little listing videos that kind of give you an idea of what things might smell like. She's just kind of animated her, um, like the little cover photos or the little stickers. Man, I can't talk today. 
Um, but overall, really nice job, Samantha. I love your shop and I've used your products, so I can vouch that they're fantastic. All right. Hey, face, we getting some wolves in the chat. Wolves in Coffee the chat. till death, baby. That's right. Yeah. Mm. All right. Where are we at here? Yep. Can I can I delete the old ones? I want to like no, don't because I want to link them after we're done. Care. I don't care what you're saying. Look at all them wolves. You do care. You care. Coffee industry be thriving. <laughs> Coffee's trending right now. When isn't coffee trending? It's super trendy on Etsy. All right. Um, Love it. Honey, enjoy. Um, Natasha, we've actually featured your shop in a critique session. When, and I think I pointed out then that my favorite thing about your banner, besides the fact that you have all these adorable little characters for your cards, is that you are in the comfiest outfit ever. A lot of times when we look at these shops, everybody like puts on their Sunday best and they they make sure that they're in like their their like super duper fancy clothes and you are you just look comfy and it matches your your overall brand image. You look like a type of seller that I want to support because I can connect with you because on most days I'm wearing the same thing. So I love it. I think that it's very warm and inviting. I love your colors. Oh, I love it. I, I, I'm disappointed that Etsy has put... I know! So her her banner used to have this beautiful white... And then it would flow out. into the bottom. Yeah, but they added <laughs> in this kind of like... Gray. gray. Yeah, this gray. So now it, it interrupts. But it still looks fantastic. Um, Corporate gray. I hate it. It still looks so, so cute. Still looks very nice. So... Let's see. She has super cute cards. And one thing I always hear is you guys saying, oh, you know, I sell cards, but I don't know how to, you know, do my listing photos. She, your listing photos used to be over this, right? With the texture and mm -hmm. we edited one of your photos, correct? Um, and it was over like this wicker thing. And it didn't make the card stand out very much. But you have totally changed your photos they are on these beautiful clean branded backgrounds are you cutting these out are you using a mock-up it looks like you're using a mock-up this looks so nice um and, and i love how minimalist it is because as someone buying a card you don't really care too much about what's in the background but you know you need to see what is printed on the card and this shows perfectly what's on it um, I, I love your shop. I think that you have done amazing with all of these improvements. And another thing that I love, look how cute her about section photos. Look how cute her about section photos. Like I, I want to buy, I want to buy because she's so cute and you can tell that her personality shines through her products. So congratulations. I think you did a great job. Um, I really love the new photos. They go. You December 2nd, Friday Bean. They're in order. Yeah, I know. I'm just stupid. <laughs> All right, here we go. We are here. Yeah. No? Uh, we no. just did that one. Yeah, there you go. You can just click them. If you hit... You can just click them. If you hit save. Yeah, see, you can also middle click to open new tabs, but you never do it, so leave but, me alone. But you can do it easy. Leave me alone. He can do it easier. Leave me alone. He just doesn't want to do it easier. Leave me alone. All right, we have Holly. Um, did, were you here when I chose Holly's shop? Were you with me? Or did you go to the bathroom? I think I was in the bathroom when you chose. I think from this point on, there I was in the bathroom. <laughs> so there's a lot of shops here. <laughs> yeah. I was in the bathroom for a long well, time. Tell me about it. <laughs> Holly, I love your branding. It's very clean and consistent. You've also got your carousel banners. Um, Holly creates return address labels, and I, I love how she has made her shop on, on a product that's pretty basic, like, you know, return address labels, a pretty defined niche. But I love how she has made her branding so high-end, and it feels so fancy. She's also got some stickers in here. I love it though. I think that you, for what you sell, you have done a fantastic job because a lot of the people who you're going to be selling to are business owners. Um, they, they're going to be looking for things that are going to enhance their own brand. So your brand is all about enhancing somebody else's brand. 
Um, everything is very, very clean and cohesive. I absolutely love it, though. I don't think that we featured any, like, normal, you know, like, um, like fun sticker shops mm -mm. Um, this time around. But your products have a practical purpose, and I love them. I, I think that, that your shop looks fantastic, and, and your branding just looks so nice. Um, did we do your about section? I can't remember if I looked at your about section. Okay, so you've got, you've just got a video in there, which I don't want to click it because I don't know if the sound will play through. It won't. Oh, it won't. I have all the sound disabled. Oh, okay. I believe. Well. I could be wrong. <laughs> well, Holly, I, I love your shop. I think you've done a fantastic job. And obviously it's shining through because you've got 7,145 sales. So, all right. Oh my God, I figured, I literally just figured out why the music wasn't working. Anyway, I'm not going to worry about it today. <laughs> Ooh, I love this one. We're, we're getting mm, through these. We it? are. We are. Well, we do need to speed it up a little bit, though, because okay. we're, we're at the halfway point. Speaking of the halfway point, might as well plug it again because we're at 320 people. Handmade Alpha Academy is officially open. You can either go to join HAA.com. That is Juliet India Oscar November. Hotel Alpha Alpha .com, not HMA. We frequently get that one. That's a totally different website. Or you can go to handmadealphaacademy.com, read through the information. <clears throat> it's $9.97 up front or six payments of $1.99. We're only open for 10 days. Yeah, uh, you, you didn't explain what it is. Uh, Handmade Alpha Thank Academy goodness. is my nine module Etsy coaching program. It includes a lot of amazing bonuses. It's going to teach you exactly what to do. It's for sellers, both big and small. Doesn't matter if you've already got an established shop. Doesn't matter if you don't have products yet, because what Handmade Alpha Academy is going to do is it's going to teach you a foundation of psychology that is going to be able to be applied throughout your shop, your marketing, and your funnel. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me, how is this different? than any other Etsy course out there. The Handmade Alpha Academy is like the college of Etsy courses. And the reason behind that is because I am one of the only Etsy, I think I, I am the only Etsy course in the world that teaches psychology and neuromarketing. Um, and, and in fact, I've actually been asked <clears throat> to talk on behalf of both of these subjects at the University of Dayton because their program uh, for their marketing students their, their marketing classes did not teach funnel building or marketing psychology. They only taught things that would help somebody become a good employee, but not how to start their own yep. business. Our course is absolutely not a here's how we did it. Here's how you do it. It is a here's how you do it based on psychology. Absolutely. Uh, Amber Marie on the clutch here posted it in Thank the you. chat. Thank you. If you are interested, you want to check it out, I pop it open in a new tab. It's right there. We'll go ahead and continue on with the content because I know people don't like the salesy stuff. Hey, we got, we got, we got to eat, right? We got to eat. We yeah. got to eat. We got to be able to make content. We got to be able to do isn't, cool stuff for you. Isn't that Wendy's or Wendy's. rallies? You got to eat whatever. Well, whatever. we have the meats. Oh, Arby's got that. Yeah, it's Arby's. Okay. Logan, <laughs> your branding is beautiful. Oh my God. It looks so pretty. The green and this kind of wine color, your background matches. You have this adorable photo, which brings immediate trust and it teaches customers to be nicer. I know that that sounds weird and a lot of you are like, oh, I don't want to show my face. Your face reminds your customers that you're a person, that you are a person with feelings and emotions and love and care for what you do. And it really does influence how people treat you online. Those natural smiles are very, very important trust building elements. Um, I, I love your logo. It is so cute. And she creates adorable little baby clothes. And, and Mark and I were talking about it. Her clothes all follow a very clean, natural palette. These are all really trendy colors. Um, they're very earth tone. Um, I, I think that it's it's all very minimalist over these nice backgrounds. I absolutely love your photos. In fact, I dare say, oh, so cute. I dare say that in terms of product photos, you have some of my favorite because I'm very conditioned to seeing, you know, mock-ups on Etsy. Not that mock-ups are a bad thing. I buy things that are on, you know, that are mock-ups all the time. Um, but because I'm so conditioned to see it, 
these photos actually stand out to me a little bit more because I can tell that you took them with your own camera. So well done, Logan. I, I think that your brand is absolutely beautiful and I really, really love your branding colors. Yeah, I absolutely love it. Yeah. People asking if it's $1,200. Yes, it is technically $200 more if you do the six month payment plan. People are discussing it in the chat. If you pay off your Handmade Alpha Academy enrollment before the fourth month payment takes out, all you have to do is contact me and ask me for an invoice. If, if you can pay the fourth and fifth month or third through the fifth month on one, I will cut the last month payment off. It's a it's a convenience charge basically yeah. for the payment plan. So I will cut that off. And that's something that no other course is going to do for you either. Oh, we, yeah. we, we cut that off because I don't like charging the extra money, but it's upkeep and it is it is quite the hassle. So. Yeah, but we we appreciate you guys. Um, oh, I, I love her. Um, we appreciate you guys, and we try to do things as as you know as fairly as possible. Um, and we like to be as transparent as possible. And also, you get cool bonuses this year. Handmade Alpha Academy students, obviously, you get a year of E Rank Pro for free out of our pocket. You're getting a new product ph photography essentials workshop by photography coach, Christina Nicole, which is normally worth $120. We're giving that to you for free. That's not us. That's somebody else's totally different program. And, and what's really cool about Student. that is she teaches you how to do that with your smartphone. Like she wants to teach you how to do it as cheap as yeah, possible. And you're getting that for free and you get our this year's uh, holiday boot camp and all future holiday boot camp. Any boot camp that we do, you will get for free. The only thing that you will not get in the future with HA are other full size, like thousand dollar courses, which so, we don't even have. Which any we of literally those. don't even have any of those planned. So anyway, continuing on. We'll answer and more. And a thirty day money back guarantee. Absolutely no questions asked, no homework, anything like that. If you don't like it within the first thirty days, you can have all your money back. Absolutely. All you got to do is. But if you already email. have E rank, we cancel your current plan and give it you give it to you for a year. Yep, you get to keep all your data, save keyword lists, any competitors that you're tracking. Yep. You get to keep all of that. We just cancel your payment plan and we take it yep. over and put it into our billing for a year. At the end of the stream, we will answer any and all questions about HAA and we are transparent, as transparent as possible within the limits of the law. <laughs> within the limits of the law. Yeah, there's some things I can't answer. You, but... you do not get to have our <clears throat> home address. You do not. <laughs> all right, Miranda. I love Miranda shop. Look at those sales, baby. Look at those sales. She, Good Lord. Girl. She is a beautiful example of a handmade Alpha Academy student who goes above and beyond her social media, her photos, her, her overall brand personality. She's fantastic. She sells beautiful bookmarks. Mm -hmm. um, and one of my favorite things <clears throat> about Miranda is is that, you know, a lot of people who sell things like bookmarks, they're like, oh, I nobody's going to buy any of my products unless I make Harry Potter bookmarks or unless I do this popular series. That's not true. And she is a perfect example of that because she has all of these beautiful, unique pieces of art and mugs. What, what, what goes better with reading a book than a mug of like coffee or tea? I, I love her shop. She's one of my favorites. And she reminds me of, if anybody does um, Bookish Box or Lit Joy Crate, um, her photos remind me so much of theirs. But they're, they're so beautiful. Um, I You guys probably know already, I'm an author. Um, I have a science fiction book called The Channel that you can buy on Amazon, Barnes & Noble. You can get it on Nook, Kindle. All the places. All the places. Walmart. Get it. I think I said Walmart already. Do it. Um, but because of that, I'm heavy in the bookish community. I'm always heavy. heavy. I'm <laughs> always looking at how these companies are marketing things. Um, and and she just, she blends so seamlessly in. It, it, it almost seems like, you know, she could be hitting up some of these big companies and getting a deal, you know, Miranda, you, you should, you should consider it. <laughs> but anyway, I, I yeah, think I really like her bookmark. They're beautiful. And look, look at these photos. It's Tell like, me that that does like You got a couple customers in the, in the chat as well. They're wonderful. Does this look like bookish <clears throat> box? This looks just looks like better than bookish box. It does. Oh, cutie. oh, I love it. So cute. You do. All these photos are so much better than mine. I really need to up my photography skills. Well, have we got the best plan for you? <laughs> Christina, Nicole, and even if you're not enrolling in Handmade Alpha Academy this season. Yeah, go, her course is $120 for the for the photography course. You can go take that. That's or, fine, too. Or go to her YouTube channel. It's by Christina Nicole. Um, 
Chris- with a K. Christina with a K. Yeah, Christina with a K. Go go follow her on YouTube. She's got videos just like we do. And she focuses on taking great photos without having to edit them. Yeah, she's awesome. Miranda, your shop's like, I love it. Your shop is so perfect. I, I could never critique you because your shop is just so beautiful. Hmm. All right, let's blast through the last ones. Oh, Laurel. Uh, n- what was that? <laughs> Laurel. Oral Lamelton. <laughs> Notice he he likes to reverse the first letter of the first name and the first letter of the last name, and it makes every name funnier. Noticeably node. <laughs> Not- I told her I was going to do that with all the shops today, and she told me not to. So Notice- I'm getting a couple. Noticeably noted, um, she's got her holiday shipping deadlines front and center. She's not playing around. She wants you to know that <laughs> if you don't order by these dates, like she can't guarantee that your products are going to arrive, which is so smart. Um, Eleven thousand two hundred and eighty-two sales, and Lord she have mercy. And she sells super duper cute cards. So she's our third third shop, second shop that sells cards. I think second. I apologize for sounding like a cartoon horse just there. Yeah, I feel really stupid about what I just said. Sounded pretty stupid. Too. Sounded pretty stupid. Somebody should clip that. And make a meme. So clip that. Clip it. Clip it. Do clip it. it. Tag I it. it. I need it for my, I need it for my Twitch. Um, I love that she has this little video that shows <laughs> her sizes. I think that that is so cool. It probably eliminates a lot of different customer confusion. She's got notepads, and she shows the sizes of those as well. Um, overall, very very minimalist, but so clean, so cohesive. <clears throat> I love that background. And remember, Etsy Etsy likes these light backgrounds and people immediately assume it, it, it has to be solid white. This is a light background though. This looks nice and clean. Yeah, doesn't have to be white. Exactly, white or light. Absolutely beautiful though. I love how clean and and crisp your shop is. These photos though, I, it. look how pretty. And there's like this nice Lightroom. Do you use Lightroom? It looks like there's a nice Lightroom filter. On we need these. to start using Lightroom. We do. Beautiful though. Your branding colors are beautiful. You can see them it, even in your shirt. Look at her shirt. It's the same color that we're seeing. In, stop it. Just stop it. Stop, just it. stop it. it. You're you're too perfect. Just stop it. There's 320 of you there. There better be three at least 300 likes on this video. Oh. Or... Yeah. Or I'm going on strike. Yeah. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button. It's free. It's free. That's it's actually free. We... And it helps us. It does well. We've got another video like partially going viral and it really does it really does help us. Yeah. Etsy Trends for 2023. That video is going viral. So. It is getting up there. You were in the bathroom when I picked Mary's shop. Look how cute it is. You're gonna say that before every shop. I was in the bathroom for every single one of these shops. You were in the bathroom. Probably stinking. I was on Twitter. Stinking it up. I was on Twitter. <laughs> I was on Twitter posting stupid things at people. And I picked Mary's shop <laughs> because Mary's shop is super cohesive, super cute. I love this um this font. It's like this these kind of like it's like that 70s kind of bubbly like font. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about, mm-hmm. right? It, I love this It's font. not quite that, but it's getting there. Yeah, yeah. The, I have it's seen... It's not quite bubbly enough. Yeah, but, but... It is bubbly enough for the brand. I think this is wonderful. These are so pretty and so cohesive. I love it. And you have a defined niche as well. You've got like... what is it all? Is it all surf? Boho and coastal. Yes. Everybody's like, oh, I don't want to define my niche. I make products. Too bad. I make products for everybody. Psh. No, you you make products for a specific type of person. That way you stand out in the marketplace and you draw customers to your brand rather than just being a shop that, you know, they buy once from. Um, I always say 80% of your sales should come from 20% of your market. That means that most of your sales should be repeat buys. And you can guarantee that by making sure that your shop is exactly what that type of person would buy from again and again. So if we've got a boho gal who wants to decorate her home, she's going to keep coming back and buying over and over again. But these are beautiful. That um, surfer girl's bugging me. I, I'm sure it's intentional. No, what about that picture about is is wrong? What? Maybe I'm wrong because I'm not a surfer. What? The fin on the board. 
Doesn't it go on the bottom? They go on the bottom. Yeah, but maybe it wouldn't look right in a picture. Probably wouldn't look right on a picture. Right. I don't think it would look right on a picture. No, throw the whole shop away. <laughs> you're right. You're a bad I'm just person. kidding. I, I actually really like your shop quite a bit. Your colors. Tell me if I'm wrong. I might just be stupid. You've never surfed. You don't I've know. I've never surfed. No, never surfed. You've never surfed. I've never surfed. Um, I, I love it, though. Your banner is very clean, and I love your branding colors, especially since it's beachy and boho, and you didn't go with blue. Um, I think that that's what made it stand out so much. You didn't go with blue. You went with, like, pink and, um, like, a nice tan color. So, yeah, very might, well. <laughs> they're saying the fin is upside down. Is it? Oh. I knew I was right. That's okay. See, the thing is, she's from Australia, so I'm sure she's aware of that, and she did it on purpose to make it look more cohesive. Oh, uh, you made me full screen right when I was picking my nose. Good job. Maybe it's maybe it's a shark doo doo doo. Could have been a shark doo 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 doo. 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 Um, Jackie. All right, Jackie. Jackie, we have featured before, but I had to feature her again because she's incorporated in some beautiful holiday elements that also match her brand. There is no mistaking what her branding colors are. And my favorite thing about Jackie's shop is that though she creates silver jewelry, she has really, really upped her game by creating, it almost reminds me of like Tiffany & Co. Because she has this <clears throat> teal that she incorporates into everything that she does. So if we scroll down, look how pretty her product photos are and how high-end it looks just by incorporating in a simple teal ribbon, um, it makes her products pop. She's found a way to even stage tiny little stud earrings with this ribbon. This is one of the best examples of a jewelry shop that has made their products, you know, have that designer feel that I've ever seen. Um, I, I feel like I'm looking at something out of like a, a catalog. You yeah. know what I mean? No, I love it. This one is Beautiful. Wow. Um, I love these. And your prices are so low. Tina figured it out. She's standing on the surfboard on the sand. The fin cannot <gasps> sit in the sand. Oh, Tina. Tina, Look you're just you. Tina, you're you forgive me. I am the big stupid. <laughs> Tina's Tina's on it. No, that was not Tina on the board. What? Tina's on it. <laughs> Shut up. You're a bad person. You're awful. I'm just going to say that all the time since that's what everybody says. Everybody says Mark's a bad person. Yeah. He's like the best Hashtag person. Hashtag Mark's a bad person. He's the, the best chat. person. If you spell it wrong, I'm perma-banning you. <laughs> it's Mark with a C. Um, I love it, though. So pretty. It, and let's see. Did you have an about section? Yes, I, I was pretty sure that you did. You have some photos of you um, creating your products, which I love because when it comes to buying jewelry online, I don't know about you guys, but when I'm buying jewelry on Etsy, I'm I'm, I'm a little suspicious. I, um, of all the things when I buy jewelry, I am the most apprehensive to buy mm -hmm. something. Out of anything that I buy on Etsy, I'm the most apprehensive. Yeah, I need, I need like some confirmation that what I'm about to buy is actually handmade and that I'm supporting a creator, not supporting... You know, somebody who's just reselling junk that they bought online. And by seeing videos of you making your products, um, I... That's I, super pretty. I actually really like that. Your prices... I wish I wasn't a, like... Your prices, I feel, could... could oh, you... you no, nah, that's... For, sterling... Okay. For 1282 for an aluminum ring is fair. Okay, so sterling and gold-plated go up. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. I was going to say, I hope that you're not charging 1282 for silver jewelry. But I love that because maybe somebody wants to test it with the aluminum and then and then, they... and then up it to it. That's yeah. A, there you go. Look at that. Look how pretty your jewelry in an mm -hmm. eco-friendly gift box. That's so cute. She tells you everything that's going in the package. That way, if you're ordering it as a gift and sending it to somebody, you you know exactly what you're sending them. Love it. I, I, yeah. I've shown your shop more than one time, but I'm... I had to show it again just because you're right, last one. You're one of my favorites. Okay. This one I picked at the last minute um, because this person is very active and engages with us a lot on social. All right, don't don't click anything yet. And I wanna I want to say that this person no. she's only got two sales, but she has done so much with her shop. She has improved it so much. It looks so darn good. Like I, I have to show you guys and She's another one of those sellers that I know. It's just a matter of time. The right person, the right, you know, she's going to hit the right market and she's going to start selling. Um, but I want you guys to see 
somebody who hasn't made that because we've just featured what somebody who had like over 20,000 sales, somebody who had over 11,000 sales. And I know a lot of you are like, oh, that's so many. I'm never going to get there. I want to show you an example of somebody who hasn't made a lot of sales yet, but who has a brand. You're going to look at it and you're going to say, wow, like right when you see it. So All right, I got to hit Amber with this because she said, y'all, alum aluminum has an I in it. What if I told you both are wrong because the original proposed name I just looked this up was aluminum. 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 That was the original name. So yours is wrong too. Merck and Sterler. Merck and Sterler. I love that. I've, I've never had anybody actually give me a cup that says Park on it, but I have told someone. Park. We had Park. I have had Park and I've had, I said Mark with a C and I've had them give it to me with M-A-R-C-K. Oh, that, yes. That's, I've had that a few times. That's my favorite. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. Look how pretty. So the first thing that I noticed, okay. Her branding colors are like a neon, Oops, a neon like highlighter yellow and black, which I think is super cool. Not a combo I've ever seen. Um, she does <laughs> like her her whole aesthetic is like jewelry for like rebels. So that's like her whole theme. Um, and, and one of the first things that I noticed when I pulled up her shop today, look at how she has layered the the hoop on this choker to go down over like the curve here and we her call that advanced her, and then she's blurred the line where it splits oh it looks so good her nails small error though what what what, what? small error what right here oh shut up right here no right right here no <laughs> don't listen to him where you can see where the white splits off. I got you. I'll find your mistakes. No. This is why I'm not the guy that solely critiques shops because I'll find it. This you made this really tiny. I made it's ex it's exactly the same as it was. It no, is it at one hundred. Yes, it is. It's now it's at a hundred. That's good. No, it I it is at a hundred. This is a hundred. Oh, I wanted it big. That's fine. Um, I hear that a lot. Your your nails are in your branding color, which I absolutely love. Um, and you've got a, a great variety of products. I looked at your website today um cuz I was curious to see if you also sold on your website when I saw that you that you only had the two sales. I was I was just curious to see if maybe um maybe you sold on your website but then I noticed that it redirected um to your Etsy shop which is great. Um but your website looked fantastic. It was very clean. Um I once again I think it's just a matter of time if I were to um you know Let's see. Oh, these are such nice photos. That's so nice. They're so nice. You have such a pretty shop. Um, if I were to, I, and I know that this isn't a critique session, but, and you've only been around since 2021. If I were to critique your photos in any way, the only thing that I would say is to down the warmth of your current thumbnails, because this photo here, where it's uh, lighter in saturation, actually appeals to me more than the super duper warm um, photos. I actually prefer this one because I can see um, more of like the product detail, whereas the warm photos kind of, I think, take away from it. But Lola, your shop is beautiful. Your branding is beautiful. It feels very high end. Um, and I really, really hope to see you with some more sales. Um, but once again, keep in mind, two sales, but her products are around $200 or more. So those two sales, if she sold two $200 products, that's 400 bucks in the last year, which, you know, that's, those aren't bad numbers. So we also have to consider prices of products as well. But Lola, I think your shop's beautiful. I just wanted to show it off because I thought shop is very your, beautiful. your banner looked so nice. I, I wanted that to was, show it. That was the last one. If you have questions, go ahead and get them in. I am going to backlog in the chat here. Um, Amber said, Mark's got weak ankles. Yeah, and I did research. I did research at, uh, not that long ago looking into ankle injuries. And both of the times, I rolled my ankle twice when Amber Marie was here. And both of those times, I probably broke my ankle. And yeah. then when the second time I rolled it, I rebroke it. And then I just did it a couple more months ago, and I probably broke it then too. So I have broken my ankle three times in the last year, and uh, it always hurts now. So didn't ask. <laughs> you wait. You're gonna be. You're gonna be driving Taylor to your mom's. 
and I'm going to be on screen by myself later. <laughs> Guys, um, if you have questions, obviously, um, since Handmade Alpha Academy is only open until December 10th for enrollment, if you have any questions about um, our Etsy coaching program, feel free to let me know. If uh, if you don't like Mark, don't worry about it because he's not the one who records those, but you do have to deal with him for support, so be nice. Uh <laughs> You'd be surprised how fast I will ban you from everything. <laughs> and he won't. No, he, unless you're mean. Yeah, I was about to say, if you're mean, I absolutely will. Yeah, yeah, don't don't be mean. Don't um, be mean. Don't be mean. I don't like it. But um, we've got a couple cool things going on this upcoming week. Uh, December 5th through the 8th, every day at noon Eastern, 11 a.m. Central, 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 5 p.m. if you're in the UK. We are going to be here doing shop critiques at random from the chat. So if you want a shop critique from us, you can put your shop in the chat and we'll pick some random ones. Um, and yeah. You're super cute. You are too, sweetheart. Mwah. All right, what do we got? We're all cute in our own. Well, not all of us. Some of us aren't cute. Well, some of us don't want to Scroll to the top, just make sure I didn't miss anything. Some I sell don't... digital and physical products in the same store. Should I separate my shop? Not necessarily. If your things are cohesive and kind of go together, you don't have to separate them. I like the idea that if you do like POD or art prints or something like that, and you have like leftover designs that you don't particularly want to put in your store to stick them in a different shop for other people to buy and use. Make sure that there is some differentiation between mm -hmm. the two products. Just like we were showing in the shops that were digital today, they had big banners at the bottom of the thumbnails that said digital file. Um, make sure that you're doing that. That way people know exactly what they're buying and can see it right from a search page. Thanks for, thanks for joining. Awesome. Uh, is the Discord group like the Facebook group? Like if we need advice, we could ask other alphas. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, except it is a, it's a live chat format. It's like a old, like those old 90s chat rooms. Mm -hmm. That's kind of what, what Discord is. And um, I actually really like Discord because I have it set up where if somebody deletes a message, it gets sent to a second thing. So nobody can be mean in there and get away with it and oh, delete their messages. Oh, do a dirty delete. I see everything that's ever deleted. They stay in there forever permanently. That, that way we can get rid of like people who are really mean. Yup. Uh, any advice for POD new Etsy shops? I only have one random sale in my... In my two months, I have the shop and close to 781 visits. I get a lot of visits from Pinterest, but didn't manage to sell. Um, so for print on demand, it's no different than any other shop. Um, you need to make sure that you're differentiating yourself from every other print on demand shop. One of the main things that I hear is, oh, you know, I've, I've added a bunch of shirts and not, nothing selling. But then I go to the shop and there's no cohesive theme. Every single shop that we showed today, especially the ones that mm -hmm. had high volume sales, were catered to a very specific type of person. You know, they they we had one that was just for beach boho. We had one that was just for, you know, coffee drinking readers. We had one that was just for, you know, I, I would dare say like earthy moms. Um there was one of, you know, very quirky gift card or cards um, and, you know, cute little puns and things on them. So making sure that you are appealing to a very specific type of person with your print on demand business and then making sure that everything about your brand is also tying into that type of person that you want to appeal to. Because if you're just throwing things out into the universe and I stumble across your shop, but I don't have an emotion tied to what you're selling me, it's just another thing. When you create a brand that creates a feeling like the shops that we showed today, you feel like you are buying that feeling. You are buying so that you can, you know, be a part of that emotion because that brand created something within you. And today, that was the whole point of showing you some of these beautiful Handmade Alpha Academy student shops that we felt created those emotions. You should have gotten clear feelings and known, you know, roughly who each of these shops were catering to. Um, you, you should have been able to look at them and know immediately what type of person these shops were trying to appeal to. So what are you doing in your print on demand business to do that? First and foremost. Second thing is, um, you know, just like any other business, you can't just throw things on Etsy and expect them to sell. <laughs> nope. um, and, and I hate to plug Handmade Alpha Academy again, but really that's the main thing that we teach in HAA is, is that brand building element that we talked about where we add in the, the psychology of your brand. But we're also teaching you how to create um, a funnel. That way you're not just relying on Etsy SEO and organic traffic. You're also able to direct traffic from other sources. Now, if you're not interested in joining Handmade Alpha Academy, 
I still recommend trying to drive some of your own traffic and really, really buckling down on social media. Uh, down below in the video description, I have my free 30-day Instagram challenge. I highly recommend signing up for that because that's going to help you to really... Um, you know, buckle down on your social media marketing strategy. It's going to get you into a good habit by uh, completing actions uh, every day for the next 30 days. You can start it whenever you want, but get yourself out there. Even if you don't have an Instagram account yet, you can start one to do the challenge to start marketing your brand. So no more coffee for you? No, we still do our coffee in the morning, but we try to limit One. our caffeine throughout the day and we do try not to have caffeine after 2 p.m. One, and I'm trying to, we've been trying to kick well, I've I'm trying to kick pop. He's kicked pop. Yeah, pop. Um, I don't really drink pop anymore. Soda for all those, uh, or Coke for those not, of you in Florida. <laughs> but we've been drinking seltzers. <clears throat> Can you give some examples of what's covered in the course that isn't in the YouTube videos? Oh my goodness, could I? We totally forgot we were gonna do that. Let me get Edge pulled back up. Handmade. Oh. All right, Handmade Alpha Academy. I, I hear that a lot. A lot of people say, "What is in HA that isn't on YouTube?" YouTube. I am skimming the top of topics in order to keep videos short. I am skinning the top in order to appeal to the YouTube algorithm because I've, I have to also, just like Etsy SEO works for you guys, I've got to do what YouTube algorithm likes as well for me. Yep. YouTube wants to, those videos to be nice and short and to the point. And, you know, so I, I skim the top on topics, but I don't have the opportunity to really dig down because that can take hours of work. Mm -hmm. The Handmade Alpha Academy covers the psychology and the why and what your actions in your business do to the human brain. Um, so we had somebody in our Facebook group ask if we would be willing to show what Handmade Alpha Academy looks like because we have a lot of people who say, oh, you say nine module training program, but yeah. what does that so mean? So we'll do, we'll, do we'll do the dashboard, I'll the course module page and yeah. one. I'll do the scrolling. So that's just... that's totally fine. One second. Um, so for the Discord, I just posted it in chat. There's a couple of people asking for it. I posted it in chat, and then I also just updated the uh, description. The description on this video. If you refresh, it'll be in the description there. There's no reason to do that. You can get it out of the chat. And then after this, I will update it in the Facebook group. All right. It shouldn't. It shouldn't have expired. I had it set to be permanent. But anyway. All right, so let me, let me just show me. you um, what the... And I want to do this quick because not everybody here is here for this. No, so. I know. I know, but I had somebody okay. who asked for it. You're so fine. I like... I'm going to do... There you go. All right. This so... is the dashboard right after you log in. Yeah, so right when you first get in Handmade Alpha Academy, you land on Start Here. You get an introduction from me uh, before you begin. You get some notes from Starla, uh, you know, the, the basics, make sure that you complete, complete the modules in order, complete the lessons within each module in order because yeah. everything is step-by-step. Step. Uh, you click start your classes and everything is in the exact order that you need to do it. So all, here are all the modules. Module one, we talk about, you know, this is kind of an introduction module. We talk about the uh, building your business mindset, making sure that you are really gaming yourself up uh, we're talking about things like the psychology of fear and how that impacts you in business and how to easily overcome that. This is really great because I know that most of us creative souls also have things like anxiety and ADHD and depression because we are creative people and these are things that creative people struggle with. So I acknowledge that right at the beginning. Uh, groundwork. This is where we begin uh, laying the foundation for your target customer, which is extremely important because if you don't know who you're selling to, then you're not going to know how to do your marketing effectively. And if you're one of those sellers who has a beautiful shop, but it's not making sales, this is the lesson that you need. Mm -hmm. Perception, we're talking about how to create psychology-driven branding, branding that isn't just pretty, but actually has a purpose. It actually does something to the human brain. Capture, we're teaching you how to do uh, beautiful product photography on a $0 budget, but this is also an opportunity to join uh, Christina Nicole's free program that comes included with the mm -hmm. course. If, or you can buy it if you're not joining HAA. It's $120. It is the product photography essentials workshop. Hype, we're teaching you how to build a funnel, how to utilize social media marketing, and how to uh, collect uh, people, the initial people for your email list 
which we're also going to teach you how to build, and how to ensure that you're able to get people buying your products again and again and again. Um, atmosphere, we are talking about your overall brand atmosphere and kind of tying everything together. Uh, position, this is where we start talking about GDPR compliance, making sure that you're following the laws of contacting this, your customers. This one's long. And SEO. This is usually, module seven is usually where people stop because they usually get too busy by that point. Module seven, we cover everything that you need to know about Etsy SEO mm -hmm. and how to use E-Rank step by step. It is yeah. a long module, but it is, this is a majority of the program takes place in module seven. Launch, we're going to teach you how to launch new products, how to get your customers hyped, and how to reach out to influencers, bloggers, YouTubers, uh, if you're interested in getting products featured. Gravity, you're going to be learning how to create um, a Facebook group or a um, a community for your brand. We're going to teach you how to do giveaways in order to build your audience, um, and we're going to kind of conclude the program. And then, and then I in the vault, I'm going I'm to go in. Okay, I was going to go in too. Oh, I'm going to go in. And then you get the vault, yo. Yeah, you get the resource guide. This is every every resource that I use. All of our, every time that we release something for free, it just goes into the vault. So Handmade Alpha Academy students don't have to sign up for it. They just go here. Ad Fuel, which is a marketing training. Um, all of the books that I recommend. Mm -hmm. The tech guide I am currently building. I know I've been saying that since June, but there is a reason for it. I'm not still not quite sure how I want the format to be, but that's there's going to be a lot in that. Under so. construction. Under con under construction. Lingo glossary. If you're reading a business book and there's a, a term that you don't understand, it's probably in here. Couples camp. We're going to be redoing, but it's still in here. This. Uh, it, it's a cool review to get your family on board with your handmade business. Brand Planet webinar is our most popular webinar. Photo Clipper is going to teach you how to cut your photos out uh, a little bit more precisely than what you can do with uh, Canva and automatic background tools. We could probably re-record that before June, too, just to have it on higher quality. Uh, the Holiday Library is all of our holiday resources. Automate Chimp is more advanced, but it's going to teach you how to create better uh, lead pages and lead magnets to get more people on your email list. Wall of Flame is where all of our alphas of the year are located. The Alpha Tour is our live tour that we did in 2019. 19, you get the Product Photography Essentials Workshop by Christina Nicole. You get 700 something, I can't remember. Oh, 768, I think is the number. 768 unique graphics that cover all different categories, holidays. Uh, we even have one for adult shops. And you get the holiday boot camp that we released in September. So that is everything that you get. And now I got it. I'm going to, we're going to fight. And then when you start your classes, uh, we'll just look at module one. This is probably the shortest of all of them, but you start here, you get your downloads. So mm -hmm. you can click right here. This one, I don't care if they see. So this is like your course roadmap. All you have to do is pop in and download these. You get access to our private Facebook group where all of the students that you just saw hang out. Yeah. Um, and then every module is a video that you watch. Um, they're all 4K. And then I occasionally will throw in something cute and fun from YouTube that I think is inspiring at the bottom of lessons. There's a lot of content in the course. Yeah. It, like, it's a it's a ridiculous amount of content. Yeah. Like if I popped over to module seven, which is where we're like getting in to it, you're getting like <laughs> this and they're not and they're not all short either like no. they're all an average of like seven to ten minutes long so like when we get into seo there's one or 2.1 2.2 2.3 2.4 2.5 2.6 2.7 we've broken it up <laughs> yeah we've broken up the course in such a way that you can pause you can pause and go through it Otherwise, it is it is a nightmare of content to, to try to do all in one. So we've broken it down as right. best we can. And we had somebody ask us earlier in the video if they would have trouble understanding it. It's done at like a, a grade school level, like a like an elementary school level. Well, I was a preschool teacher before I ever yeah. started teaching adults. So I I tackled Handmade Alpha Academy in the exact same way in terms of building the curriculum that I used when I taught preschoolers. I'm just teaching advanced concepts like. Yeah customer psychology or marketing psychology, neuromarketing, um, uh, SEO. So, yeah. Okay. Let's get into it. Yes, absolutely. But Since it, we're already kind of at the end here. Yeah. 
So there's, I hope that answers your question of examples. How do I advertise my POD store if I don't use my face on social media? Somebody kind of already answered this, but if you can't use your face, you can also have a persona or an avatar or something that you go along with. Yeah, or just don't use your face. Not There's plenty of brands that don't use their faces. Um, I recommend going to my YouTube channel and typing in Instagram Reels Canva, and that'll give you some great examples because I'm doing my own um, POD products or mine and Amber's from the Alpha Dap shop, and I kind of show you how we've animated those to make some marketing videos. Um, but there's a lot that you can do with Canva with your mock-ups. Like you said, I've saved up three months out of the four and Loki, I've gotten both do it and you should wait till you have a shop first for me signing up to HAA. It, you can have a shop or not. It really doesn't matter. Oh, yeah. Starting starting from the bottom, I think, is actually a best oh, case here. scenario because then you can bypass a lot of that like trial and error. Do it. All right. Uh, how does she do free shipping over over a hundred dollars through Etsy? Um, I'm not sure. And I can't not remember. Sure. I can't remember what shop it was. <laughs> Do, 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 Give me all the boot camps. You can have all the boot camps. And that was the question I just answered. Oh, okay. She asked it twice by accident. And keep in mind, Chelsea, um, the, there's a 30-day no questions asked money back guarantee. There are so a if lot it's of, too hard for you, you can... Yeah. Yeah. The, the thing is, there are a lot of courses out there that like require you to do homework or prove you tried. Like, how do you prove you tried? Just just send us an email. Say, re put the word refund in the email and you'll get a refund. We Does don't. this mean if we've been featured, we can't have a shop critique anymore? No. No, no everyone else can, but not you because you asked. <laughs> no, no, that's... Haven't we done yours more than once? Yeah. <laughs> I think we've done hers more than once, completely by accident, because it's random. How did she do those videos up there? Those are your listing videos. Yes. So they, they play automatically um, when you hover over with your mouse. I was forgetting to you, so keep asking, because I guarantee we all want to help you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Sorry, we had, we had so many comments loving, loving the shops we were looking at, so it's going to take me a minute to get through them all. Oh, there's so many people saying nice things, though. We really appreciate you guys. Everyone thinks I'm on psychedelics. I'm just naturally like this. But <laughs> but, but how much better could you be if you were on <laughs> Tina, but trippy. <laughs> They're probably going to be legal soon. Oh, God. I want to see a Tina Tina tripping. How can we get a shop critique? Uh, we, next week, yep. December 5th through the 8th, every day at noon Eastern, we'll be pulling random ones from the chat. There are 37,000 of you. So please understand that we cannot get to everybody. Um, so, but we will be pulling random ones. Uh, we kind of already answered that. In your handmade alpha Facebook group, are there any students that would mind doing a critique or helping me get in the right direction? Absolutely. Yeah. That's the whole point of the of, yeah. of the of the just student campus. Be specific. Um, you know, when you don't just like post a link to your shop, um, but you can go in there and say, hey, you know, I need some ideas. Uh, would anybody be willing to critique my shop and how I have it set up so far? Um, I, I'm especially looking for ideas on you know, how I can improve my photos or how I can improve my branding. But that Facebook community is linked free down below. Feel free to join and post whatever. Can we make our own HAA Discord chat rooms? I'm, I'm going to... Depending on niche? I like that. That's it's a all, lot. It's, it's a lot for me to manage. Uh, maybe in the future, there are ways I can actually integrate Discord or with Or we have HAA. a team manager for each niche. I, I could. That's a lot. Maybe in the future. I'll think about it. <laughs> it's a lot of... Discord's a lot of work. Amber Man. can be in charge of it. <laughs> yeah. It's a lot of work. I can't have it just freely open to create channels because then people will go in there and be racist. That's just how it is. Unfortunately, people are shit posters sometimes. Ashley. Yeah. Uh, I've been posting reels with a call to action to follow for two weeks. Still minimal followers. Any advice? Um, if you are doing a type of reel and you're not seeing results, you need to try a different type of reel. It might just be the type of reel isn't what's sticking. Um, don't repeat the same action if it's not working. Try a different format for your reels. Is there going to be another Trello board for this year's Christmas? Suggested products, items for Christmas gifts, but from the alpha shops and things we love? I think I've asked before, but can't remember. Um, I do not think so. I don't think it's we... a little late for that anyway, because it's already into December and most things won't make it on time. Uh, yeah. Remind but... us in like November next year and we'll do it. Yeah. Um, or earlier, please. Or earlier. Way earlier. Like, like June. <laughs> um, but if you go to Instagram and type uh, hashtag handmade alphas, there's tons. And you guys should be using that hashtag handmade alphas. That's a great way to filter through and only see alpha shops. 
Uh, I'm working on rebranding. Which is the best way to research my potential customers? Um, well, that's a very, very hard question to answer in a short time. You're uh, going to look at what other brands similar to you are doing and who they try to brand themselves right. for. Well, who is your target customer? What is important to them? What are their morals and values? Um, what what things connect with that individual type of person? And then try to find some people on social media. Maybe as I would really recommend trying to find some influencers, but type in some keywords on Instagram and try to find some influencers who kind of follow that niche and then mm -hmm. start looking at the people who are commenting on their posts. Oh no, I just smacked the crap out of the mic. I'm Be sorry. Because you can often find a lot of golden nuggets of information, you know, within the comment section of people who follow your, you know, or who are your ideal target market. Yes. Um, if your listing stink, what's the very first thing to fix? I would wash them. Uh, should they be overhauled one at a time or do all at once focusing on one aspect like photography or SEO. Okay, well, photography, you can focus on all at once if you would like to. Absolutely do not touch the SEO of all of your listings at the same time. Unless you're like not making any progress at all and making no sales. And haven't ever made a bunch of sales. You should never change all of your SEO at once if you're making any sales. Um, I would say, I mean, once again, it just depends on what area of your shop isn't doing well. If your photos aren't good, then I would really recommend photos should be number one, because if you have a bad photo, it doesn't matter where you're ranking in search. Nobody's going to click on it. So photos personally to me are the most important thing that you can do for your business, which is exactly why we're providing that um, product photography essentials workshop this year. Um, but like I said, um, making sure that those product photographer or those product photos are top notch is way more important. And then SEO comes secondary because like I said, it, you could be ranking on page one, but it doesn't matter if the photos are bad. So do you offer private or small group consulting? No, we do not. I do go into our Facebook group and I will also do those by request. If somebody pops into our handmade alpha Facebook uh, or our student campus, um, St paid students. Yeah, yeah. I, I And they say, hey, can you touch on target market? You know, I was confused about this part of the course. I am more than happy to do those by request. Um, last night I did one and there were only four people there. So this is why I only do them by request. And why we only do them for paid students. I do not do private coaching. There are 37,000 of you. I would have to and charge. And growing I would by like 200 a day. I would have to charge so much money that I would not, it would not be fair. It would not be fair to you because you have to consider that that's time and that time pulls away from everything that we're invested in, the Discord, the Facebook groups, we're, the paid students. We e work for E-Rank. Yeah. I'm a manager at E-Rank. The, the YouTube videos, E-Rank, like literally everywhere. So it would cost you less to just buy the course. I mean, seriously, it, well, would, it would cost you more to do private consulting with us than just to here's buy the Here's the thing. Course. Private consulting, you get me... If, if we have a date set and I'm not having the, I'm having a brain fog day, you're not going to get the best version of me. Nope. And the course, you get the best version of her. Every single day, you get the best version of me. And there is nothing that I could tell you in a one-on-one -on -one session that isn't already in that course. It's, it's a lot. It's, I'm not, it's like 16 plus hours of content, not if, including the bonuses. And if you go through the program and you have questions, you're able to ask me, you're, mm -hmm. you're able to contact me and ask. If it's in a future video, we'll tell you that it's in a future video. Yeah. But if you're actually legitimately struggling with anything that happens within the course, you don't have to pay extra to like get support. That's but, all included. But I recommend posting in the student campus when you have trouble. It's a faster way to get an answer. For because, sure. because our students, I mean, Hell, Amber Marie has made what over five hundred thousand dollars now in her business. Like these, these students are freaking smart. Yeah, and obviously, like everything, not everyone is successful. But we have some really, we have some seven figure businesses in our in yeah, our course. Absolutely, like well over seven figures. Yeah, like per year. <laughs> Uh, do you have any advice on how to fair price fairly and profitably? Yes, prof uh, price in the top ten percent of your industry. Go to erank.com. Go to the profit calculator tool. It's in the tools tab. Um, type in. Oh wait, no. Back backtrack. Go to the keyword tool first. Um, type in some keywords that are related to your product. You know, very baseline. If you sell like, you know, glittery tumblers, just sell put tumbler in there. 
scroll down in the keyword tool and you're gonna see common price points for your type of product. Find whichever of those price points is at the top. You're gonna be able to find where, where the spike is. Price in that area. And you can also go into the tools tab on erank.com and use the profit calculator tool to make sure that you're also factoring in things like Etsy's fees. You wanna price at the top, not at the bottom. Like I always say, it's easier to make one $100 sale than it is to make $101 sales. And, and you don't want to burn yourself out by undercharging for your work. Will AJ help handmade jewelry makers? The oh, answer, yeah. the answer, the yeah, the answer, oh, yeah, the answer to I make this. Does HA help? Is yes. The, no, it doesn't matter what the this is. It helps all of you. Leanne, Leanne from Hopping Trails sells bunny poo manure. Um, we have an alpha who sells snail food. We have tons of successful jewelry shops who make over six figures. Um. Guys, this is a good question. Do you think that at some point Etsy will stop being popular in the future? Okay, impossible to answer. Possibly. Uh, based on literally no reason, but the fact that the world is an unpredictable place. If that happens, we're on top of this, believe it or not. We try to follow the news well, on this kind of stuff. It's not just following the news. We can look at the data and see where Etsy is compared to every other handmade yeah. marketplace. Their, their is... quarterly reports are open to the public. If they do poorly, we know. Right. And, and if you go into the E-Rank Sites tool, it's a brand new tool that we just released over at E-Rank. You can type in Etsy compared to other marketplaces like Amazon Handmade or, or things like that. Etsy is still currently for Handmade the most popular. Etsy is at the top. By a long shot. Etsy but... To answer your question and Anything kind of give some insight, if it starts to go downhill to the point that it struggles, here's the thing. We start to struggle too. Yeah. So we will be on top of that. And if that happens, we will provide every possible resource that we can to make sure that you guys have another platform to move to. And we will try to provide as much support as possible on said platform as yep. fast as possible. We'll be on top of it. So no worries. Destiny. Our, we, we do this. Uh, not to go on a tangent. We do this for you guys. Obviously, the course makes us money. YouTube doesn't make enough money for it to like be worth anything to us. We do the YouTube stuff for you. Oh, absolutely. And most of you are not paid students, or I would ha I would be able to retire. <laughs> <laughs> so, so trust us when we say that we do this for you. Oh, absolutely. Uh, how much is the monthly payment for HAA? It is $199 right now. $199 per month for six months. And if you pay off your plan before the fourth month. If before you wanna, the fourth month, yes. If you want to pay it off, uh, Mark will cut off the last month's payment. I will, yep, I will cut off the last payment for you. All you have to do is hit me up. Don't hit me up the day after your fourth month payment takes out. It's a no. <laughs> <laughs> I had like three people do that this last time. That's just paying your fifth month. Um, let's see here. Y'all are going to be stuck with me now. Tracy, you're already my favorite. Tracy was like beating down the door of Handmade Alpha Academy. Let me in. Uh, do you know anyone who makes the fabric fold over sew in clothes labels? I can't Ooh. find any that fit my business. I'm not sure, Destiny, but post in the Handmade Alpha Facebook community the link down community, below. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm sure that somebody will know. There's like over 11,000 people mm -hmm. in there. What does the labor cost from E-Rank Profit Calculator mean? It is, that's that's literally it. Do you have someone that you have to outsource labor to? Like if you make furniture, does somebody cut the wood for you? Is there transportation involved? That kind of stuff. It's stuff that other people are involved or, that are cost. Or if you have to drive things to the post office, that could be your gas, you know? Yeah, it could be any any additional thing outside of the other factors, but it's, it's, it's a literal statement. Uh, I have customers who want to do uh, review videos. Should they tag my social media or email them and then I post? Either way, it it's uh, that's up to you. Uh, create a create a little short contract for them, uh, Shannon. That uh, that's what I would do, and just tell them if, what you want. If people want to do reviews on their own personal social media, I wouldn't I wouldn't do contracts. Oh, for that. Just right. let just let people make a hashtag. If you want people to start posting on their own accounts. Um, you can make a hashtag. If there's any that come through that are really, really amazing, you can then share them. That's a way to get involved in your community and yeah. have people more involved with you. Have them tag your account or offer them a coupon code to share with their audience to your shop. That's another really great way. Yep. Because that helps them as well. That makes them seem like, you know, they're they're the hero because they got their audience a coupon for Exactly, something. exactly. Damn it. There we go. Sorry, the chat jumped down made me angry. Guys, like the video to help them out. Exactly, Linda. 
Uh, if I deactivate a listing, do I still pay for it when it's listing month comes up or do I not pay for it again until I reactivate it? I do not think that you pay for deactivated y listings. Yeah, I don't think you pay for deactivated no. listings unless something's changed and we've missed no, it. No, you don't pay for deactivated listings. Uh, she teaches you how to study your data to make the right choice for you, which may not be the right choice for the next guy. Oh, yes. exactly. exactly. Great example. Yeah, and the campus alone is a resource worth what the, what it costs. Absolutely. Uh, You're not a <laughs> we, it is it is literally just nonstop testimony. We love you guys so much. And this one was Scott, Miss, Mr. Amber, Mr. Amber Murray. <laughs> uh, if you need any more reason to purchase a course, Starler will personally invite you to her house for two weeks during Thanksgiving, but only if you sell enough. <laughs> <laughs> only if your names are Amber and Scott, Amber and Scott. We're going to have another couple named Amber and how Scott. How often and how long should you run a sale for your shop? There's no answer to up that. Up to you and up to you. Yeah, there's no answer for that. Do the payments automatically deduct? Yes, the payments do automatically deduct. However, if you need to move a payment date for any particular reason, I can also do that. Yeah, you just got to email. We're pretty lenient. I, I try not to, like, make your life a living hell. Oh, yeah. And if, you if need you're the... constantly annoying about it, I'm just going to shut off your payments until you're stable. Yeah. But... Yeah. If you if you need if you need us to like pause a payment because you've had like a really yeah. bad month or like a, some, someone died and you had to pay for a funeral or something, just send us an email and we can pause. We can pause you if you've got an emergency. We know that happens. Is it possible to niche down too much? For example, I sell emotes. Could my target audience just be streamers or should it be more specific? Female horror gamer streamers. Maybe I'm overthinking. I think I think with that you should not niche down that far. I think just streamers is fine. Well, you gotta, you've gotta be able to know how many female horror game streamers are there. Is there any way to quantify that? And if you there's a lot, well, <laughs> there's yeah. a lot. But do they all use custom emotes, and are they happy with their current ones? You know, right. you could just be a, a, a digital personality seller as well. Because somebody said, you know, Discord uses emotes. Discord has stuff. Twitch has stuff. Like there are all kinds of places where people can have custom emojis, custom gifts, custom emotes. They can have uh, like uh, GIF reaction. Like there's all different kinds. You don't have to do those other things. But the more you niche down, the more difficult it will be if you decide to branch into those markets for you to be able to come back out of that niche. You can just do horror, horror streamers, and it, then even gothy streamers. Yeah, might if want you it. if you want to niche down, you can. But I mean, in my opinion, just looking at it, I wouldn't niche down any further than just as, like on as the, somebody in the industry, as 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 the most popular Twitch streamer on the platform with thirty one total followers, I wouldn't. Speaking of that, we're going to be going live after she finishes recording a video. Um, if you want to join, it is uh, twitch.tv slash Professor Pursuit. I'm going to type it into the chat because that is impossible. Hang out with us, guys. It is so funny. I, I am like the biggest chicken and he plays these horror games and I just sit here and. Yeah, so we are going to be finishing Resident Evil 3 and then we will be playing Callisto Protocol, which is a lot scarier. <laughs> I'm pretty, I'm pretty oh, excited. We're at the bottom. Uh, the payments. Off. I think did I answer that? Yeah, we're yes. at the bottom. We are at the bottom. Oh my goodness! Um, I'm gonna start saving for HA. When's the next time you open? It will be open. Do we want to announce the 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 full thing? So technically, the next discount period will be on in June. Fourteenth will be in June. June fourteenth. <laughs> yes, it will be in June, and then. We most likely are going to just be full. This goes along with the full transparency. We're probably going to be keeping Handmade Alpha Academy open all year round. We're, well, we're going to experiment for six months with we it. We are going to experiment for six months with it. However, it will still. Good God. It will be. We made it all the way through the stream. It will be full price when it is open year round. And we will keep the December 1st through 10th discount window at half off yep. and the june 14th through uh 24th discount window at half off if you buy it mid-season that because that's you know more inconvenient for mark and i because we we do have a lot going on that's yeah. why we do these small enrollments you will be paying double making the course two nine two nine two thousand one nine nine seven one nine nine yeah one nine nine seven so or three sixty five a month yes so Discount if you guys want that fifty percent off. You have to sign up within this ten day period or, or the ten day period in June. Mm -hmm. Yes, it makes it a lot easier on us. This is serious full transparency here. It makes it easier on us because you would not believe the amount of questions that we get of people who cannot find the discount page when it happens. And HAA is how we eat. <laughs> um, it's so the it, only way we it's eat. not the only way we eat, but it is the main way that we pay our our bills. 
Um, so we want to make it as easy as possible for people to check out. So from now on, we will not be offering the full price during the 10 day window, but we will have HAA open year round for the full price other than the 10 day window. But, but we're going to experiment with that for six, six months and we might change our mind come, you know, next around summertime when we're like, okay, maybe we only keep it open twice a yeah. year now again. Will the Academy address the changing economical landscape? Uh, to refocus or plan for products addressing recession-proof safe products. There is no such thing as a recession-proof safe product. Um, yeah, so handmade alpha, here's the thing. That's something impossible to address. And also only addresses one of how many countries on the planet that we support. Handmade Alpha Academy is going to teach you to identify gaps in the marketplace. This is an Etsy course. It's not going to cure cancer or feed the hungry. No. So you don't don't try to pack more into it than what we can actually provide because there's no way for us to predict um, how to do that because we don't know what the future is going to look like. You have to be the one to look at gaps in the marketplace and develop products yes. that are still in demand when things get bad. And there are great relevancy. There are great examples of this. For example, you know during during you know the height of COVID, everybody banding together and saying, let's make masks, let's make masks. And you could only get masks on Etsy. Yes. Uh, we have Deborah from Reasonable Creations. We did a, an interview with her. Mm -hmm. She made these really cool, trendy surgical caps. Those are always gonna be in demand. She's filling a need. So what we, what we teach you how to do is identify problems and identify things that people are willing to pay money to solve in their lives, wh whether that be, you know, maybe it's somebody who has like, you know, bad skin and they they need like something that will help their skin. So you create some type of lotion or whatever. But you have to be the one that comes up with those ideas. <laughs> we can't give you those ideas. No, we um, cannot give you those ideas. So I hope I hope that and makes I don't, sense. And I don't like touching too much on recession or politics with that kind of stuff because people like to get really upset because everyone knows everything about everything now. Yeah. Um, just know that the world's not as bad as it appears and stop watching mainline news. I mean, really, it's a it's a good way to ruin your day. Scott said I'd recommend going back and watching <laughs> the VOD from Twitch last Friday with Starla and alcohol. Yes, I drank last. Yes. Last Friday. I can't. You can, you can sell food on Etsy. Yes, you can. You can sell food on you Etsy. can sell food on Etsy. We have alphas that sell food on Etsy. Yeah, you can sell food. I think you just have to make sure that you're compliant with all of your um you know she said i think that was my question thank you i just tuned in on a new viewer well, oh, welcome. welcome thank you welcome, welcome. it's hard to identify new viewers because we are somehow going having another video go viral and we're getting like 200 followers a day toffee apple studios i didn't see your question did you put instagram in? oh, oh here, it is. Yeah, it is. Sorry, here it is sorry we didn't see it uh my shop's doing well this year but i only i didn't see the question mark sorry oh i only seem to be selling the same items all the time last year i sold a bit of everything in comparison is that because etsy likes that item yep. if so how can i get my other items noticed um don't stress too much about it so most shops are going to have one or two items or, or more that do very very well and the more that an item sells the more it's going to do better. Have you guys noticed that if you sell a product, sometimes it'll magically sell again, like right afterwards. And you're like, whoa, what is that? That's your listing quality score. Every time you make a sale, every time you get a positive review, every time you get some type of positive interaction to one of your listings on Etsy, Etsy increases your listing quality score. And you don't get to see what that score is. That's, that's a mysterious score that Etsy knows. We don't know, but we can sense it when things like what you're describing happen, where you make, you know, a, a couple sales on a listing and suddenly that listing is the only thing that sells anymore. Um, how can you drive attention to your other listings? Make them sell, uh, which I know that's hard when they're not being found, but driving people from social media to those listings, those are sales. If they're buying, that's still going to increase your listing quality score. Um, so I, I, I would recommend if you have some listings that you know are good, they're just not getting the visibility that you want and you want them to rank higher and sell more because it's all about rank. It's all about visibility. Your other listings are ranking well. Drive some of that traffic from other means through things like social media. And, you know, don't don't be stressed about it. If you've got a couple bestsellers and then the other things don't sell as well, that's totally normal. So 
So I pulled up the actual Etsy house rules on food and edible items, just mm -hmm. if you're curious for that out there. Selling food or other edible items is generally allowed on Etsy, but there are a number of government regulations that dictate who can make, package, and sell food. Check out the seller handbook for more specific information about making, selling, and shipping food items. In addition, be sure to consult USPS and other shipping carriers for specific restrictions regarding the shipment of food. Laws regarding the sale of food and edible items vary from place to place, so please consult an attorney or qualified legal expert if you have further questions. That's probably because certain ingredients are probably banned from being sold in other countries like red food coloring in in the uk like you have to be careful and you do have to abide by those laws if you're selling in those countries anyway we have one more question i'm going to go ahead and get to and then we'll go ahead and cut it i think there's only yeah uh, i'm new to etsy and have a few ideas for christmas do you think it's too late for me to make them and sell them on etsy yep. yes i honestly we started prepping sellers back in late july for christmas it, you've missed the boat it can yeah. take 60 to 90 days to even gain your your uh, listing quality score to be able to rank and search. Yeah. Just just keep in mind that you, I mean, you technically could still sell products for a couple of days, but there's a very, very, very good chance that they won't show up on time for them. Uh, if it's like a digital download, that would be okay. Um, but for the most part, I would say you need to start thinking about Valentine's Day because even then, you're, you're not going to gain a lot of traction no. um start thinking about the future christmas you've kind of missed the boat unfortunately and i know that's probably not what you want to hear but we're we would rather be honest and realistic with you that way you can actually make some sales and yep. create something that's going to sell but but i think that is going to be yes. it make sure you check the links down below handmade alpha academy is open we're not going to explain what that is again y'all know what it is join y'all love it haa.com not join hma.com unless you have an adult film addiction it is join haa.com juliet oscar india lima hotelalphaalpha.com Discord link is down below if you want to join that. Uh, link Switch. in that link. Hold on. Linked in that Discord and admin announcements is my Discord for Mark's Fun Land, where we talk about video games and share inappropriate memes. Um, we will be streaming on Twitch after she gets done recording a video, probably Maybe. around three ish. Oh, uh, not. 2.30. I'm going to record. You think about, about 2.30? Sometime around 2.30. Meet, I'm gonna us go there, ahead and meet us there on 2.30. Meet us there at 2.30. It is Twitch. It's going to be funny. I, I can't. TV slash Professor Prosciutto or PP for short. I can't drink, unfortunately. I know you guys like to laugh at me. Um, I'll be drinking later tonight, uh, but I won't be streaming Callisto Protocol after she leaves. I'll probably switch over and like play a racing game or something. We'll just chat, hang out, do whatever. I, I have to take my daughter over to my mom's house. And then maybe again tomorrow night, we can both drink, get a little silly and have some fun, play some play some scary, spoopy games. We love hanging out with you guys. Yeah. So even if, even if you're not going to go watch tonight, I would really appreciate it if you go over to Twitch and just leave a follow if you watch Twitch. Once I'm almost up to, I'm at 30 now. Once I'm at 50, I can align with Twitch, get their get their advertisements and bits and stuff going. And then they'll actually show me to more people. Time zone, Eastern Standard Time. We are in Eastern Standard Time, yes. Yes, yes. UST or UCT minus five is where we are at. Join HAA, join HAA. Um, now we're going to sit here and wave for like 30 seconds until we hit end stream. Oh, wait, wait. If you have any questions about Handmade Alpha Academy that you didn't get to and, and yes. ask here... Um, send me an email at starla at handmadealphaacademy.com. Starla at handmadealphaacademy.com. If you have HAA questions. Yeah, yeah. Send me a question if you have one. Um, All right, guys. Have a great weekend. Um, and hopefully we'll see you Monday during Fatigue Week. Hopefully we'll see you over on our Twitch stream in like 45 minutes. Yes. I'm gonna, we're going to wave to the camera for like 30 seconds because this likes to just randomly cut off.